Hi, Dad. Good morning. How are you? Wait, uh, d did I oversleep? Good to... What? Did I... What time is it? That's about 8.30. I should be waking you up now. What's going on? This is... Well, I got up on my own this morning. I'm, uh, I decided on making you breakfast. Well, that's... Yeah, I'm... Well, that's very sweet, man. And uh, it's just about ready. Great. Um, and what's that? Are you packing a lunch for later? Uh, well, no, that would be for breakfast. Well, I, I appreciate it, Ben. It's just that my, my appetite for bologna is not, you know, hasn't really peaked at this hour of the day, you know? Yeah, Dad, this isn't a restaurant, okay? You can't uh, just come in here and order a meal, all right? You want me to cut off the crust for you? No, I don't. Okay, then I won't. Well, it's not so much... It's just not... sit down, Dad, and then, you know, Yeah. and I'll serve it up. You got the coffee brewing? You know I do. I I'll it. take a cup of joe because... Yeah, I love the joe myself. I didn't hear you come in last night. You must have come in very late. I was in a little bit late, yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah. just a... You want the paper? Yeah, but hey, do me here. a favor. If you're going to be out late, please give me a ring. I will, Something, I will. Just a little... But, what, uh... What is that? What What are you showing me? Yeah, have a, have a look-see. Holy oh. free, holy. Hold on a second. Huh? Check, please. Ben. Yeah? That's my boy. Oh, thanks. I, I'm in the paper today. What does it say here? Take a read, you know. Go Bystander ahead. Benjamin Katz. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. that's my boy. That's me, yeah. <laughs> According to Bystander Benjamin Katz, yeah. no more than three shots, and possibly as few as none. That's correct. Were fired. That's me. That's what I said. That's why there are quotes around it. <laughs> I'm quoted in the paper. Benjamin read Katz. Read slowly, little Benjamin Katz. Mm -hmm. I uh, I witnessed oh. a crime last night. Jesus, yes. and 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 you. Are they going to uh, subpoena you as a witness? I don't know yet. I didn't find out. I just talked to the reporters and uh, a couple of uh, other people I talked to. And, uh, and you gave them your name, the reporter, huh? Yeah, yeah. Well, that she, uh, she asked. Uh -huh. she, she asked for it. No, because very often uh, witnesses will, re will choose to remain anonymous. Well, I... is that true? Yeah. Oh. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm proud of you for coming forth. And, and, well, I felt uh, I had to, Dad. I mean, there was nobody else there coming forward except the other witnesses. Hmm. Dr. Katz's office? Hi, this is Stephen Wright. I'm going to be a little bit late because uh, I keep getting distracted by the, the stuff out here. And I'll be there in a few minutes. A few minutes, thanks. Hi, this is for you. Just kidding. I have an 11.30 appointment. I'm, uh, 380 seconds late. I don't know if you want to notify him or just tell him, but I'm here and I'm ready. I'll just sit over here. You know, I don't know if you know this or not, but I consider you my best friend. You may be looking at it a different way, but... I'm just going to wait over here. Are you on any kind of medication now, or have you ta taken any medication? I've taken Robitussin. That's, okay. you know, I got a little bit addicted to it. I would try to get sore throats on purpose and stuff. I don't know if, it, if I like the taste or if it actually made me a little bit high. Or s Sprouts aren't medication. Medication. No, sprouts I, are not at all I love medication. sprouts. Yeah. How many cups of coffee have you had today? Um, this is my third. Your third. I usually have between three and twelve. And now I'm on my third, and I'm getting a little bit wired up now. Yeah. Is that why you asked me? No, hey, because I remember you were telling me last week that, that, you're, um, that you would have sometimes four or five cups of coffee before your first cup of coffee. I start counting the coffees at 9.30, so if I drink a coffee before that, it doesn't count. Now, do you, are you able to sleep all right? I mean... I haven't slept straight through in about 15 years. I sleep in shifts. I sleep for an hour, wake up, sleep for an hour and a half, wake up. It's almost like I'm on watch. I'm on watch, like in the World War II movies, where right. one guy would sleep and the other guy would, you know, they'd go back and forth, except there's only one guy and there's nothing out there. If I characterized you as being hypervigilant about your surroundings, does that describe you, do you think? Is that I don't know what that means. I'm not sure myself. I'm just working from a text here. 
but you have all the symptoms of one of those guys. Do you, do you experience a shortness of breath? No. Or do you have palpitations? No. Do you have intrusive thoughts? Impossible. Thoughts that intrude on your, on your ability to function? Oh, yes, but they're created by me. They're not brought in from the outside. I misinterpreted the question. All of your thoughts are, are created by you. Yep. That's the nature of thoughts. Look, how abstract are you going to get in here? I mean... Blue? What is your point? All I'm saying is if you have intrusive thoughts, it's a mechanism of self-sabotage. It's your own mind interfering with your ability to enjoy life. I guess I have them. I'll, I'll, I'll admit it. I told you. <sighs> Can I ask you this, Stephen? Is there a history of depression in your family? Yeah. How far back does it go? Years. Uh, my grandparents were from Europe. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I don't think my family ever adjusted to the time change. Hey, Laura, how are you? Okay, how are you? Good. I, you know, I took a, I took a walk over here. I'm a little bit sweaty. Great. <laughs> uh. Why are you here? Well, I was, uh, you know, taking a walk, and then I, I came up. Did you, uh, you didn't happen to get the, the today's paper? Yes, I did. Yeah. Did you look in the uh, metro crime section? Um, uh, yeah, I think so. Really? I, I read the whole paper, I think. Yeah, did you notice that I was quoted? As I, was, I was a witness to a crime last night. And, uh, really? Yeah, yeah. They quoted me, you know. They took a quote from me, because I was a... An eyewitness to That's a... That's dangerous, you know. ...to a crime. You're, I mean, your name was printed in the paper. I mean, whoever... Well, I mean, it, it, was, it was a dangerous scene, but I didn't... Uh... No, I mean, they know your name now. Who does? The criminals. No, the criminals can't read. I see. Well, then I guess you're safe. I am a bystander, Laura. You're looking at a bystander right here. I could have told you that. Well, I want to ask you... Yeah. First of all... If you're afraid of, of uh, heights. Uh, I used to be. You got over it? Yeah, I just realized that there was other directions. And why focus on one? And I became completely relaxed. And what about your fear of the, of the clock? You, can, you think you can trace that back to when you were a kid? Is that, is that right? Because at night... When I was a boy, sometimes I'd be down eating my lunch at midnight, and my mother would come out and she'd say, Oh, no. No, lunch is the other 12. What's up, man? Well, I just, you know, I'm a little bit... I read the article over and over. Mm-hmm. And it's good. I said a lot of good things. I think I was right on on most of the stuff I was talking about. Mm -hmm. But I got a little uncomfortable with the name again. I mean, I hate to come back to the name thing, but Ben, it just doesn't read well. And I'm thinking that if, if I'm going to go on to maybe be in another article someday, or uh, maybe shoot over to TV because I know the media is all connected, that uh, Ben is just it's kind of boring. Like, well, you know what? You know, I'm thinking something like maybe... Like, it skews a little younger. A little more media-friendly, maybe, like, uh, Zeus. Cats. I happen to disagree with you. Zeus. I like the name Ben, and I also don't think that you need to, to think of this as a as so much of a career. as more. It's well, really more is, of a one-shot you know what, deal. What really bugs but I'll play along. You want, what, you want another name? Let's find you another name. How about, uh... How about Ben the, the overreactor cats? Yeah. How about Ben making a mountain out of a molehill well, I don't cats? Want a, I don't want a nickname. I want a real name. I want a replacement. I don't want those middle things. I don't want, like, Ben the something. I want... How about this is oh, a one-shot deal. It'll never happen You're doing again. it again! To live, cats. So you think they weren't really up for the task of parenting five kids? They should have been put in jail. My parents, really. They have five kids, one bathroom in this house. That's, that's against the law. It should be. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was sick. My mother would say, why don't you use the bathroom at school? Because I live here! 
Mm. There's 20 toilets in that school and you're going here. Why don't you go outside? Because we live in the 20th century! Those are the right answers. My sister constantly in that bathroom. She would never leave. Never leave the room. Uh -huh. We're all lined up outside the door waiting to get in. She'd come out of that bathroom wrapped in towels. All you could see were her eyes. She'd come running out of the bathroom at like 60 miles an hour screaming, Don't look at me! We're not looking at you. We gotta pee! Let, it, let this stuff out, you know, just cleanse yourself. I used to have to go on vacation with these people every year. Five kids packed in a car, windows rolled up, pretending we had air conditioning. Mm. And they would never point out anything historical along these vacation trips, you know. Yeah. They would point out weird-looking people along the way. My mother would be going, kids, look at that one over there. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Look at the size of the head on that man. <sighs> God, it was torture. I, I'm sure it hurts. I'm sure it still hurts. And we would never get to our destination because my father was always pulling over to the side of the road to pick up junk. Hmm. He go, look at that, huh? How could people be so wasteful? Throwing away perfectly good lawn furniture. Daddy, I don't think they're throwing it out. Their drinks are still on the table. They're throwing it out. Get out of the car and get it. And get that barbecue set while you're at it. Ah! Put on the oven mitts before you grab that thing. Dump out the hot coals before you put it in the trunk. Give me that hot dog. Get with it! All right, Kevin, that's good. Now, why don't you try and catch your breath? H have, a, have a sip of water. Oh, my father, he loves to barbecue because he was a fireman for 30 years, and he knows how to control the flames. Oh, he'd have all his fireman buddies over. They'd dig a big trench around the house, fill it up with logs and gasoline, and light it on fire. Big flames. Big, 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 huge flames. Birds would fall from the sky fully cooked. My dad would just brush them with barbecue sauce. Here you go, kids. No, Daddy. I don't want to eat the birds that fall from the sky. Mm. Want to talk to the young people? Well, I'd like to. Yeah, I'd like to go around to a couple of schools. Hey, Ben, I, I think you Dad, need to look you know, at this. Dad, once the I'll... media sets their sights on you, there's no turning back. Okay, you either hide out or you you get on board and enjoy the ride, baby. What are you talking about? I'm talking about you, baby. Wait, Ben, what? What? Watch wait, out! Slow down. Tell, what are yeah, you, you? What exactly are you talking about? I'm saying, Dad, that it's lonely at the top. So if you want to ride my gravy train, you better hop on now. Why do you think this is the top? Well, you know. I mean, you can be lonely for any number of reasons. What are you, what are you trying to say? I'm saying you're a lonely guy. You're right, I am. So Don't rub it in. Don't blame it on being at the top. You're not really at the top of anything, Ben. You're just a, you know... Did, did you read the paper today? I read the paper okay, today. Okay, I'm at the top. You had a little moment in the sun, but that's... Did, were you that ever, was today's were, paper. What about tomorrow's paper? That's why I could be in that, too. I could witness another crime tonight. But were you ever in the paper? I was... The no, I guess I was not in the paper. Okay, place. see? But... Well, then you should just be proud and not criticize. I'm, I'm, I'm not criticizing, but maybe... You know, I go out there, Dad, I just I... don't want you to get your heart broken again. Well, I just go out there and I do a good thing, and then you, you bash. You bash it like it was insignificant. Well, remember when you fell onto the subway tracks? Yeah. And you thought, this is as good as it gets, I'm going to do this every day because people were pampering you and... and Are you and... interested in forming a neighborhood watch with me? No. Hmm? I think we already have a neighborhood watch going, Ben. It's called Mrs. Lieberman, apartment 3B. You think I've, I have a swimmer's body or a diver's body? I bet you have a really amazing cannonball. You know what's really weird? What? About me. What's I have weird? leg hair, but I don't have chest hair. That is something yeah. I did not want to know. Mm -hmm. This guy is insane. I should have never came in here. He can, I'm going to take a penny out of my pocket and just throw it at him and see if he even knows I'm in here. Ow. Okay. I fell off the ceiling or something. I wasn't paying attention. Guy is nuts. Stephen, how has your appetite been lately? Are you eating properly, you think? 
it's been it's confusing because I made this rule up when I was a little kid that I would never eat on an empty stomach. So that's thrown it off. Guy calls his wife from the office. Yeah. Maid answers the phone. Have you stop me if you've heard this? I haven't heard it. And he says, uh, "Can I talk to my wife?" Okay. She says, the maid says, "You can't because she's upstairs in the bedroom with her boyfriend." And he gets crazy. He says, "Look, there's a shotgun in the hall closet. I want you to go upstairs. I want you to kill both of them." Mm. He holds on. He hears two shots. The maid gets back on the phone. She says, "What do you want me to do with the bodies?" He says, "Dump them in the pool." She says, "What pool?" He says, "Is, is this six three five two seven nine one?" Where did I lose you? I'm, I don't know. I don't know where you lost me. Don't you realize how funny that is? This guy <sighs> authorized this woman. Yeah. To kill to two kill. strangers. Right. <laughs> he mm. called the wrong number. Yeah. <laughs> that joke is funny on so many levels, in so many ways. Yeah. You got to stop explaining the joke. If you do that, it's life's not worth living. Mm. <laughs> It's over. This, this what, is over. What's? What do you mean? I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I can't go on. Jeez, I'm yeah, surprised I'm, to hear you say that, Ben. No, I, I mean it. Look what's happened. That phone call this morning. The phone call this morning, and then the worry about the phone call, and then right. the times I called back. It's out of control. Yeah, I might have pressed too hard, but I mean, I, I mean it's ridiculous, and it, you know, I can't deal with this kind yeah. of pressure right now, and I'm, I'm certainly be, not going right. to go to court because that will be a, a media circus. Well, you know, I mean, and and the thing is, that's uh, well, I didn't really, I didn't really see the crime. What do you mean you didn't really see the crime? You're you you you're an eyewitness. Right. Well, that's where the, that's that's where the media kind of took it and ran. Which which part of that is not is not true? Uh, the, the the part about uh, witnessing was a little bit. Well, uh, wait wait a second, Ben. Hold on. Stop. Stop. Well, I mean, it wasn't. What, me. what exactly did you see? What, if you didn't see the crime? Well, I saw I saw part of the uh, the group. Of people who were the congregated after the, after the, the yeah yeah well, I saw them and I so you you really I heard the yelling so did you did you lie to the press well it's not as much as I lied as that they 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 printed the lie they, you said something to them and they took it out of context and they sort of I mean I they heard what they wanted to hear I don't want to blame it on them but I do I I mean that because they did a bad yeah. thing they printed a lie they didn't know I was lying but uh, well you should not have told them a lie about well it wasn't really a lie I'm as a little... much as it was it was in the heat of the moment and I had to say something no, I mean well, they... I have to tell you I'm a little uh, a little, Dad, dis little disappointed in you when a, when a woman comes up to you with a notebook and asks you questions you better have something good to say and that's the part well, but of, just that's the, the part that that disappoints me well no but just the part Look, about I'm witnessing. trying to let you off the hook here but I think that you I think you need to to uh, well dad I mean damn it Ben I hate to say this you have to have to go to your room this is a little awkward at your age but I, I don't know what else to do I don't know what how can a will you come up I'll be there in a minute but 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 first I want you to spend some quiet time by yourself all right and just think about what you did you know, don't hate me, Dad. I, I don't hate you, Ben. I, I'm a little disappointed. I have well, to. I, mean, I know it. I mean, I mean, you could hate me, even if you di didn't before. You can hate me now. Come on, but I don't like to hear you talk this way. Well, you know, I'm gonna skip dessert. That's, that's all there is. You to already it. had dessert, Ben. Well, okay, I'll have some. Does it sound? Does it feel like it was a good experience? When you think about it. Or was it a tough time for you? The beginning of the school year was always good for me. You know, I would, right. I would say, uh, this is going to be the year. I'm really going to buckle down, crack down on the work. And then I'd be in my room working at my neat desk, and I would be reading, studying. Mm -hmm. And my father would go, you're not reading. He'd come in the room, you're not reading nothing, are you? And I am reading. I'm reading. You're not reading. I am reading. And the thing was, he was right. I wasn't reading. I was just, like, looking at the... How did he know that? I don't know. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I need another coffee. I'm so wired. No one knows, though. I'm sweating internally. Just 
I'm just gonna act like nothing's wrong. Imagine that. That's what I'm thinking. I'm in the waiting room of a psychiatrist, and I'm thinking, act like nothing's wrong. I'm totally insane. Ten more seconds of her not looking at me, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna just throw that desk right out the window, just to see if she looks up. Eight, seven. No, new plan, new plan. Just sit here, just sit here. Do you feel like you have a special mission? I didn't until you just asked me that. So I... I... Now I, I'm wondering what it is, and I'm wondering if you're involved. And I'm wondering if it's very violent. Let's come back to that. Uh, do you feel like the TV or the computer can control your thoughts? We'll come back to that one too, okay? <sighs> Look, hey, I've done some things in my life I'm not proud of. You know, I. Uh, what are you? you know, what are you trying I've, to say? Then? Once in a while, I will not. Uh, I'll, well, I don't always recycle the cans. You know, oh, Dad. I said it, and I'm glad. And I feel a, it's, you know, but it, I feel a weight lifted from my chest. Really? It feels good, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but it, recycling's so easy, you really should. I'm gonna. But okay. I just had to tell you, I, don't, I haven't always in my, in my past. Well, you know, I'm glad, I'm glad you, you told me anyway, Dad. Yeah. I mean, because uh, I've done some things in the past that I... Well, we all do things we're ashamed of. Yeah, I mean, I, uh, once or twice, I've, I've, I've flushed... Um, dirty socks down the toilet that's bad you didn't take a dump in the hamper did you <laughs> tell me that was not you